Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a really special video. This was so unexpected and I'm so excited. One of my favorite indie brands sent me some eyeshadows in the mail today. I got Sydney Grace's Summer Collection and I am so jazzed, you guys. I have so many of their single shadows. I bought their palette that they launched last year and Oh my gosh, they just keep knocking it out of the park. I've already swatched these for Instagram, but I'm gonna swatch them again in this video. And I also filmed this look, so it'll be coming towards the middle of the video. I will leave timestamps down below in case you guys wanna skip around. But yeah, I'm so excited. And they are doing 10 new shades for summer. And these come out on Monday, which is April 8th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And we have five gorgeous mattes that'll be five dollars each and then the pressed pigments are six dollars each so really reasonable and i think they have affiliate codes too so you can get a few dollars off i always like to save money i don't have a code but if i remember or find any codes i'll try and remember to put those down below as well i know this brand has been getting so much hype recently temtalia got her hands on these and has been talking about them a lot on her blog. Mel Thompson loves Sydney Grace. The Fancy Face has been talking about them. Angelica, oh my gosh, the list goes on and on. But yeah, I'm so excited they send me these. So I'm gonna stop blabbering and start swatching. I think I'm gonna swatch the mattes and the shimmers um, separate, I think is what I'm gonna do. And so I just kind of put them together the way I thought made sense, but I already saw my friend Hot Mess Ness, MUA, Vanessa. She got this PR bundle too, and she put it kind of in a different way. So it's really interesting how um, each of us kind of like interpret things. I'm sorry, I was wearing my watch, my Apple watch. So you might see the indent, but here are the mattes. Oh my gosh. I didn't even do the shade Meadow Justice. This green. This first green, it's so gorgeous. It's what's in my crease. And then the second shade is what is in my outer corner. And then I used a shimmer on my lid. But these are so gorgeous. And I'm so excited that they included like a rusty orange. I tried so hard to find rusty oranges before the warm eyeshadow trend was a big deal. And now they're like a dime a dozen. But I love every time they're included because it's like the perfect crease color for my skin tone. So. I love a good terracotta red or orange, and these two cool tone browns are really nice too. So I'm so excited to play with this set. Okay, so now I'm gonna swatch the shimmers, and you guys, I swatched these earlier for Instagram, and it was like the best experience of my life. They are so pigmented and buttery, oh my goodness. This green shade is what's on my lid, and it's just like the most vibrant, gorgeous green. And Sydney Grace has so many beautiful greens already. So these are just gonna fit right in. So beautiful. And then this yellow, oh my gosh. And then this reddish pink color. And then they did like a more burgundy red. So these are gorgeous as well. I will put all the names down in the corner here so you guys know the shades but I'm sure you could probably buy like a bundle of these when they launch on Monday, or I'm guessing they'll be available individually as well. Okay, also here is the Sydney Grace Autumn Rain palette that came out for like the holiday. I just wanted to swatch the shade Golden Scepter just to see if it looked anything like the gold color that they sent for summer. Um, this one is more yellow, this one's more of a true gold, and then there's a green shade called Fallen Splendor. And so that one's much more mossy green compared to the shade up here. So just wanted to show you guys some comparisons that I thought could be like similar. But yeah, I am so pumped. So let me go ahead and get into the demo of this look. Okay guys, I do apologize for all the noise. My husband is in the next room because his office is in the room next to mine and he is currently playing his VR, which is virtual reality. Um, and 
I have this new mic, so I think it's gonna pick up like way more sound than um, normal. And then my mom is taking a shower in the bathroom. And again, I think the mic is just so much more sensitive. So I'm gonna apologize in advance to you guys in case there's weird sounds. I'm just prepping my eyes with the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. I picked this up when they did that Christmas bundle that went on sale because they had two for like 20 bucks and I thought I would revisit this product. I had used this in the past and I hadn't picked it up in a while so I thought I'd give it another try and I'm actually really enjoying it so can't complain there. I have had a very exciting day as you guys obviously um, in the start of the video, no, I'm going to be testing out the Sydney Grace Summer Collection. Oh my gosh, there's five beautiful matte shades and five shimmer shades. I'm actually going out to dinner right now, so I'm trying to think what shades to put on my eyes. The greens were so beautiful when I swatched them. All the shimmer shades were so gorgeous. Ah, I'm so tempted. I don't know. I feel like I should do either the red and the pink or these two on the lid and then use the green mattes. I think I'm going to go with the green mattes because you know what? It'll be, it'll be great. <laughs> it'll be great. So I even whipped out like my bougie makeup brushes for this. My um, Wayne Goss and my Sonia G eye brush sets. I've been kind of giving these a break because I use them so much um, when I first got them. Um, so I cleaned them and put them away and I'm like, oh my gosh. Sydney Grace send me PR. What other better excuse would I have to whip these bad boys back out? So this is a Wayne Goss number 16. This is like a big pointed blending brush. I want to go in to this shade. Um, gosh, I'm going to try and put the names on the screen, but this is Meadow. Um, it's gorgeous. She has like comparison swatches to existing greens on her... Um, Instagram on Sydney Grace's Instagram. I'll remember to link them down in the cards for you guys if you've never heard of them. I have a whole Sydney Grace playlist and so you guys can definitely check out my swatch parties. I love their cream shadows. I love their regular eyeshadows and if you don't just want to take my word for it just go on to YouTube and search Sydney Grace and you will find so many big and small creators that love this brand so much. I know the Fancy Face has raved about them, Mel Thompson, uh, Tim Talia has been raving about Sydney Grace recently, and I just, you guys, I cannot thank them enough for including me and sending me these eyeshadows. I've been wanting to talk about this for a long time on my channel um, because I know um, PR is a sensitive topic even for me because I know there's a lot of YouTubers I feel like are very much biased towards um, PR and companies that send them PR. Um, you know it's like every product they get from that particular brand gets the best most glowing review and I've always been conscious of that on my channel because I don't ever want my channel to become that um, but I can also you know feel the feel from the brand's perspective um, because of my job and I've told you guys in the past I work for a family business I work for my husband's dad he is our boss and we actually all three work together and what our company does we also send out PR I'm not in the makeup industry or anything like that but we do give our product away um, in the hopes that you know it'll get into the hands of the right person and we'll get like you know good publicity from them PR you know and so I you know being a family business knowing that we're funded by my father-in-law and I mean it can really bring a business down when somebody gives a negative feedback on a product so I'm definitely sensitive to that because I've I can see it from my subscribers perspective and my perspective as a consumer but also because of my job experience I can see it from a brand's perspective and especially a small indie brand um, so I'm just so appreciative of you guys Amy Hearts Beauty was the first brand that ever sent me PR they sent me their Galactic Phenom palette I need to do a video on that but I was so appreciative and I think like our um, 
pats really align really well our brand she's a very small indie brand person of color owned so I was so appreciative that she took the time to reach out and send me something and now Sydney Grace who I've loved forever and ever I feel like and for a small indie brand like Sydney Grace to take a chance on me is beyond amazing so anyway while I was blabbering I was blending this shade meadow into my crease and it's gorgeous I love it it's kind of alien-esque but you know that's totally my vibe now I'm gonna go in with the deeper green matte this is called poolside it's like a beautiful teal shade I feel like that's gonna look really good in the outer um, corner of my crease and lid this is what I do every day you guys when it comes to makeup I do a crease shade I do an outer V shade and then I just do um, some blending and a nice lid shade or two. My makeup is very, very simple. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. I personally think it's a good thing because for me, I don't really, I mean, this is my life and this is the makeup I do. I don't do anything over the top intricate. Yes, I wear a lot of bright colors or a lot more bright colors than I used to, um, but I think I still do very simple makeup, not like a whole lot of cut creases and things like that. That shade is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I love the shade Poolside, right? That's what I just used. Oh my gosh. I love that. I think that would be a really pretty crease shade all on its own, but I just wanted to use it to give Meadow a little bit of depth. So that's pretty much all I wanted to do with that shade. Now I just need to decide between this beautiful shimmery green um, called Take the Time and this beautiful shimmer green called Keep It Fun. Um, for my lid. Oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna go in with the Take the time because it's just gorgeous and green and I love green so so much So I'm just gonna use like this little flat brush that I have um, I love to use a nice flat brush for applying shadows, especially sparkly shadow um, it just works so well and I filmed a whole swatch party situation where I swatch the Sydney Grace No Joke Bundle next to the new Tarte Icy Betch palette um, because the No Joke Bundle was one of the first palettes that was created to kind of dupe the April Fool's palette that Tarte created last year in 2018. Kind of ended up blowing up on them and backfiring in case you guys don't know the whole story. Um, but now they ended up launching it this year on April 1st of 2019 and it's actually a $25 palette. It's so affordable that I was like, you know what, let me just buy it and do a little, you know, check up on it, see what, what it's really like. And it actually swatched really well. So I saved it under indie makeup. I have an indie makeup highlight on my Instagram if you guys are interested in checking that out. It'll be on there um, for you guys to check out in case you want to um, buy the Tarte palette or you have the Sydney Grace bundle. I thought that was really fun. I will be filming a YouTube video as well showing you guys the comparisons. Um, so stay tuned for that. This is everything I kind of want to do to my eyes. I like this look. It's very green, um, which is definitely in currently. And I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and be back. Okay guys, so here is the final look. I've actually been wearing this for a couple of hours now. Eyeshadows, I didn't have any problems with them. They're still nice and opaque. They were easy to put on. I mean, I feel like the shimmers are even better now, so I don't know if they changed their formula, but it feels so buttery. I was playing with their No Joke Bundle, which was their dupe of the Tarte um, April Fool's palette, the Icy Betch palette. And those shimmers are gorgeous too, but these ones definitely felt just so buttery. So I love that. If This is like my favorite like shimmer formula. I love a good like foiled, really like emollient feeling shadow. So these are gorgeous. I also love the color story. It just feels very fun. And I love that they didn't do like a huge collection. I love that they did just 10 shades. They're easy to use. You can totally pair them. Um, together so I will definitely do more looks on YouTube or on my Instagram stories so make sure you follow me on Instagram as well because usually I wear makeup during the week to work and so I love to showcase 
different looks on there, but again, I just wanna let you guys know, these shadows do launch on Monday, April 8th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, so if you guys have always wanted to try Sydney Grace, I would totally recommend it. Um, and I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am so pumped, this is my second PR package ever, and I can't believe it. Um, so yeah, I feel really blessed and so grateful that you guys, you know, keep watching my channel and I love you guys all so, so much. Um, let me know your thoughts down in the comments and I will see you in my next video soon. Bye guys. <laughs>